this is the WG24 Stump Grinder from Woodland Mills. And I have a marketing relationship with Woodland Mills, so they provided this grinder, the stump grinder, in exchange for me to um, give it some exposure and talk about it. So there you go. There's my relationship with Woodland Mills. This stump grinder is PTO powered, so there's a tractor behind it, right? This is powered by a PTO off of a tractor. It is quick hitch compatible. I have a Spico quick hitch on here. The tractor is a bad boy 4035H. 35 is the horsepower, so it's 35 horsepower tractor with a 30 horsepower PTO. Might as well say 30, it's 29.5 horsepower. But this is the entire setup. There's a tube up here for your manual and any tools that you have. There's a pin that goes through here. It's a locking pin. Now I have it up here just chilling out over here because you don't want this pin installed while you're using the stump grinder. This is a pivot location and with that pin removed it allows the back of the machine or the back of the grinder to pivot in this direction. If you're being too aggressive it can pivot out and take some load off of that cut. So you don't want this to pivot out. That's a sign that you're being a little bit too aggressive and you don't want to make these or any of these uh, grinding cuts with this pin installed. So take that off. On top right here is a chainsaw holder. So you can put your chainsaw right here, put the bar through here, lock it down and take it along with you on the trail in the woods, wherever you want to take it. I've used that several times. It is super, super handy. Now, as you can tell, this looks pretty darn dirty and that's because I just well ground up a couple of stumps but also I have been using this for the past month or so on and off it's a, it's a good quick easy little uh, uh, ballast weight that I've been using uh, but also I have been grinding stumps now normally when it comes to machines and tools like this I like to give first impressions and, and show my first time using it but I, I I could not wrap my head around this thing at first, not because of how, uh, not understanding how it operates. I fully understand how it operates. It's because while I'm on my tractor, I have so much stuff in the way, and this totally depends on what tractor setup you have, how tall you are, all this stuff. I'm short. My seat is full, uh, as far down and forward as possible. I'm only five foot six. I've got a a big caution sign in the way, I've got the ROPS in the way, I've got the, the quick hitch in the way, I've got a lot of stuff in my way so I lose visibility down here and I have to twist my head upside down and backwards and look through a little itty bitty window right around here. So there's just a little bit of space that I can look down through here to see what's going on and for me that is completely disorienting <laughs> and everything gets gets twisted and turned backwards and uh, I keep getting mixed up. So for me, it's a disorientation kind of a thing the way I'm sitting. I see a lot of people online or, or a few people online that are much taller than me simply turn around in their seat and have full visibility of the uh, flywheel there. <laughs> I do not. So, so there's that. Uh, you may have seen on the first stump over there, there's their two stumps right here and I just left this wide open because I'm going to push it back here in just a second. Uh, this is the aftermath here. I ground that stump first, then this one. And with that one, I had a bunch of chatter. And if you have chatter, or if this thing starts bouncing around, something's wrong. Most of the time, in my experience, I found that chatter is due to cutting material in the wrong quadrant, right? So if you if you divide this pie, this, this 24 inch diameter stump grinder as a pie, if you divide it into quarters, right? So you have quadrant one over here, two, or whatever naming system you want. Basically, all right, it's a clock, six o'clock to nine o'clock. That's the quadrant that you want to be doing the cutting, not over here in the three o'clock to six o'clock quadrant. And the reason being is if your stump is vertical, right? Obviously all stumps are vertical. Then you have wood fibers sticking straight up. Well, if you put a, if you put a picture, a stump right in front of over here in this quadrant, then what you're doing is you're having the teeth of the cutter come down into the top of the wood fibers and that's very very hard cut it's a very very hard cut it's very very aggressive uh, it makes the, the the fibers want to tear off and chip off more so than if it was cut this way on this quadrant then the slicing cut or the sideways cut if it's right at the bottom sideways or slicing this way that's in the woodworking world cutting downhill which is the direction that you want to be cutting so you always want to be slicing the tips off rather than going into the tip of the fibers so no no on this side yes on this side and that's further evident 
by that little uh, debris guard over there. It's going to cut and push it up and sma smack it to that debris guard and hopefully keep a lot of it down uh, into, the, uh, into the ground rather than flying all over the place. I will recommend having a rake with you of some kind or a pitchfork or something to pile this back into and also get the debris out of the way in between cuts if you're doing this by yourself. I am. I wish I would have brought a rake to keep this nice and clean as I was cutting so I would have had better visibility. But I didn't bring a rake. And now these stumps that were right here. Oh, that's a little itty bitty piece of root. I thought, oh no, did I miss a whole bunch? No, that's a piece of root from something else. Admittedly, I, I need to get better at using this stump grinder. Like I said, for me, it's a, vis it's a visibility issue. So as I'm over here, I have to twist my head around backwards and look down right there. That's where I'm looking at when I make my cuts. So I see the PTO shaft, I see this horizontal guard up here, and then the ROPs right there. So I've got very little visibility to actually see what's going on. In order for me to get right there, I have to twist around and go upside down. Now, I haven't tried with one of these bigger trees, like that one, or say one over here in the shade where I can talk about this a little better. <laughs> So these are much larger diameter trees and I will be cutting off a bunch of these using the, the rest of the tree for materials and stump grinding in the future. I haven't gotten to these just yet because I don't want to get carried away taking down too many tall trees uh, that I can't process without my sawmill. And then also uh, where we're going to be clearing out some more of these is for pasture land down the road. Just a few acres of pasture land once we get to it. However, the trail system's coming along nicely and it's going to be a lot of fun to be able to ride these trails uh, without whacking into these real tall stumps. So that's it for this video. Uh, I will be showing this stump grinder again on much larger trees and much larger stumps in the future. Just not quite ready for the big stuff just yet. You guys take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next video.